Hey there, I'm Sloganator1313, and welcome back to my island survival world. We're on episode 21 here, and I hope you enjoy that little montage. <laughs> I've gotten a few little tasks done around here, including building most of the interior of the tower. So, <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? Is it nice? <laughs> Uh, you might have noticed in the footage that there are two beds. There's actually a reason for that. I plan someday to have a villager in here. A cartographer villager. <laughs> uh, and I, I just was looking at this villager, villager house looking structure on the side of the house, right? <laughs> and I thought it would be so cool if a real villager actually lived there. So uh, we might do that in a future episode. Uh, also, up here at the top, you can see I've got a few exotic plants. <laughs> it makes sense for a house that a cartographer lives in to have a bunch of plants because, uh, you know, from their travels, they might have picked up some seeds, bring them back to their house. <laughs> so, uh, that's the main thing I did. I can also show you... I can also show you, let's see... Jump down here. Pretty sure it's uh, just up over this hill. I built uh, sort of an exterior to that weird, like, pyramid glass thing we have poking out of the island. Yeah, right here. <laughs> so you can see I built like a rim around it, and now it looks a little bit nicer. <laughs> and speaking of the cow farm, I have been breeding these cows a lot while I was working on the interior of the house. Every time I came down to get materials, I would breed them again. <laughs> we have quite a few. I'm thinking this might be enough for a full enchanting setup, so... Uh, we might do, sadly, a uh, slaughter of the cows. Sorry to say it, but... Uh, let's just see... Let's just see what this gets us. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry you guys, oh my gosh, ah, yikes, only three, where's all the, where's all the leather, that's not good. Darn, we only got 32 leather. It's actually a lot less than I was expecting. Uh, we need 48 about, at minimum, to uh, make a full enchanting setup, or... Actually, now that I think about it, it's 15 times 3, so 45, I, I should say. So, at least we can craft some bookshelves, but... Still, I feel really bad for killing those cows like that. Moving on from that whole, uh, calamity, I think... Uh, I want to work on getting a method to get up to our sky base. So currently we're using this stupid little water stream here. <laughs> and my original idea was that you'd have a target on the bottom of the sky base that you'd be able to shoot and it would let water down for you so you could uh, swim up it. So that's still my goal. We are going to see what we can do here. This is what I get for trying to attack an Enderman with only some leather pants on. So first things first, we're going to burn down this tree. And we are going to get a little hole dug out here for the water to go into so it doesn't spread everywhere. 
Then we're going to build a little target system up here. I've already featured this in... Whoa, oops, just dropped out my pick. <laughs> I've already featured this in previous episodes, so I won't uh, tell you about it again. Because you've probably already seen it. <laughs> and then we run that up to a piston up here, which controls the water. And we should be pretty much ready to go here. Let's swim down to the bottom and test it. Alright, <laughs> so if we can hit the target block, oh my goodness, I'm going to need to get really good at aiming. There we go. Looks like, yep, our arrow have, has been returned to us, very cool. And the water is gone. <laughs> and then when we want to go up to our sky base, it's super easy, we just shoot the target block again. I said shoot the target block again. <laughs> It's not the easiest system to use, is it? Anyway though, uh, the water comes down and we can go up. I made it 3 wide now uh, and added some more redstone up there. Let me see, there's my ball. <laughs> I'll show you, it's a lot easier to hit now. Uh, and anyway, also it's actually a long time into the future since uh, that last clip there because I have died so many times. <laughs> Look at all those death messages in the chat there. I definitely need to start wearing armor. <laughs> I was trying to be cool and like, you know, not wear armor, but <laughs> I think it's time to make some. Anyway, uh, there's also a note block here. We can hit the note block and it'll uh, control the water from above. That way, if I'm going up here, someone's going to try to PvP me. Boom. Can't get me. <laughs> Disconnected from the ground. Uh, okay, so, oh, I didn't really think this through very good, did I? I have to go down here to activate it, okay. It's still a work in progress, <laughs> but at least we have the idea in. Uh, and speaking of armor, I really, really need it, like I said. <laughs> so I'm going to try to find where I buried that diamond block have to find it. <laughs> I forget what episode it was, but, but I got a diamond block and I was like, oh, I don't want diamonds, and I just, I buried it. <laughs> it's not here. <gasps> yes! Oh my goodness, I found it. <laughs> The diamond block. <laughs> Oops, I, I actually need an iron pickaxe to mine this. There we go. Oh yeah. Diamond block acquired. <laughs> so, uh, I do have a protection 3 book from a dungeon. I'm thinking we're going to probably make some part of the armor. Maybe... Oh, I don't know. I could do with some nice fancy pants. <laughs> We will make some diamond leggings here. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. And we need the enchanted book, so it's right here. And then the anvil right here. Nice. <laughs> we will call these... Um, we will call these snow pants because I like the snow. <laughs> All right, let's let's hope that this new enchanted diamond leggings helps us. Uh, I think I might also go mining for a little bit and see if we can find more diamonds for armor. I was about to go mining in our old mine and then I realized we actually have a way to get to the mainland. Uh, through the nether here. I've actually never used it for this. <laughs> so here, I'll, I'll show you. I don't know if you remember way back in like episode like five or something, we went to the nether for the first time uh, from a ruined portal, right? So it was way far away. Oh. <laughs> and that actually is the portal connected to the ruined one. So... Oh, let's be careful here. 
<laughs> All right. You can see it's it's right there, and yeah, that way we can reach the mainland very fast. <laughs> you can tell I'm getting tired, right? I'm starting to repeat myself. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So let's hope we can find some uh, ores, hopefully diamonds. I'm looking for diamonds, although all ores are good. So I swam over to this village, and I went into a nearby cave. It was a very large cave, but uh, sadly it didn't have any diamonds. So I did get some coal out of it, which is nice. And I had a few near-death encounters. I had to do a, a water bucket clutch to save myself, which was kind of fun. Definitely scary. <laughs> um, I'm not the best at water bucket clutching. I can do, like, small blocks. Like, I can do this just fine. This, that's easy. But longer amounts really trips me up. So, I have decided... Uh, that our new plan is going to not be to go in the caves, because that is actually a super scary place. <laughs> uh, instead, we're just going to wander on the above ground area today, and we're going to try to find some snow. Because that was actually my second objective for this adventure, is to find some snow. Uh, because I need to make a snow golem. So let's see if we can find a mountain. Oh, everybody, look what it is. I was walking for like one minute and then... <laughs> there we go, we gotta start the... Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's a pillager outpost on top of that, that snowy mountain. <laughs> that is super awesome. Oh my goodness, I love that. I mean, it probably doesn't have anything good in there, except for maybe some bottles of enchanting. Because pillager outpost chests are really bad, but look at that thing. <laughs> it's like that the landscape was made for it. This, this is a great example of some of the, the new terrain. I love it. <laughs> I've not experienced enough of it. I'm glad that my world is in the latest version. Actually, speaking of it's not, it's it's 1.18.1. Next episode, I'll probably update to the 1.18.2 patch. But that doesn't really matter. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, we got snow. Perfect. Can I break these snow blocks? Or Oh, no, I can't break those. <laughs> whoa, whoa, wait. Let me out. Hang on. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's powdered snow. Let me out of here. <laughs> what? That's cool. Wait, I, I kind of want to collect some of this powdered snow. I've, I've seen it a couple times in the past, but I've never actually used it for anything. So let me get rid of my water. Yeah! <laughs> powdered snow. Okay. Cool. Cool stuff. Oh no, not again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness, uh, 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 we gotta break it? Okay, we're good. <laughs> Powdered snow isn't quite as lethal as I thought. I thought it was gonna be like you get stuck in and you wouldn't be able to break out, but you can break out just fine. <laughs> ah, yes, perfect. So that should be enough snow to make a snow golem. These ones are powdered snow. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Yes, bottles of enchanting and dark oak logs. <laughs> Although we did get a crossbow, that's actually really cool. I like that a lot. And some wheat. Okay, well, that was definitely a, sus a excuse me, a successful adventure. Let's try to head home here. If I don't die in the snow first, oh my goodness. <laughs> Ooh, I just realized this powder snow is really good for saving yourself. 
You can do that with a water bucket. You can also do it with the powdered snow. I guess uh, it doesn't like flood everything, right? It's a nice little block contained. <laughs> That's super cool. So I'll probably switch to a powdered snow bucket instead of a water bucket for trying to clutch. Ooh, look what I found. Finally, some spruce trees. <laughs> I was actually looking for spruce wood earlier earlier in the episode and I couldn't find any so I'll probably snag a couple of these on my way home. Ooh, this place is very cool and you can see I did get my one spruce sapling <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna probably stake it out here and mine some coal until it's day because I don't want to get shot by the skeletons out there. Oh, Let's see if I can make it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so uh, we made it back everybody. Safe and sound, I was kind of scared I was going to die with all this good stuff on me, but nope. <laughs> We're all good, and you can see I got the snow just like I wanted. Didn't find much ore, although I did find plenty of coal, which is really nice. I'm going to enjoy getting to use my furnaces again. <laughs> uh, so now I wanted to build a snow golem, and just see what we can do with that. <laughs> there is a reason, I promise. It's not just some random idea I had. <laughs> well, it kind of is. Okay, it's kind of a random idea. Uh, I'll probably wait for this, uh, uh, what's it called? Pumpkin? <laughs> I'll probably wait for this pumpkin to grow, and then we can check up on that maybe next episode. Didn't realize I don't have any pumpkins, but... Uh, for the meantime here, what was I going to do? <laughs> oh yeah, right, I wanted to go see if we can get a little bit more leather for our bookshelves. So, I hate to do this, but you know what we have to do, right? <laughs> I am so sorry. Oh my goodness. Oh, yikes. There's some. Just looking for a little bit of leather. I'm gonna probably kill all of these. Ooh, okay. We only have two cows left, so... Obviously we can't kill any more of them. Also, it's really annoying these Endermen keep leaving blocks in here. Don't know why. Sorry about that, though. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll have the cow population a little bit further up by next episode. Uh, but we do have a few bookshelves and regular books by now, which is good. How do I make books? Let's see. Yeah, paper. There we go. A little more paper. <laughs> My inventory is getting filled up rather quickly. There we go. Okay. So, we've got 14 bookshelves, <laughs> and I want to try getting our enchanting table and seeing if we can maybe enchant our diamond sword here. Obviously, I want to go for looting, because then we won't have to kill as many cows, and then it won't be as tragic, right? So, let's see. <laughs> let's see what we can get. This will be almost max in chance but not not entirely but very close to max i think we're just one bookshelf short okay ooh smite 4 <laughs> i have to go back and, and grab some lapis It's been really nice to make an episode with good editing for once, <laughs> or at least better. I don't. I wouldn't really consider this necessarily good editing, but 
just like the montage and that kind of thing is really fun to make today so I'm very happy with this episode <laughs> let's do an enchant and then probably end the episode actually so smite 2 <laughs> Let's enchant our crossbow. Piercing 2. Our regular bow. Ooh, we could get on breaking 3. Alright. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. We made a ton of progress today. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. And I have been Sluganator of the 1313 variety. <laughs> Take care, everybody.